So, in this video I want to show to you a very suspect cutlea that I have in my collection. She has some very bad markings on her leaves and um, each new lid it gets infected and I, at first I was um, afraid it was a, a virus but um, it seems like it is not. Um, so I have contacted the uh, St. Augustine uh, Society, um, Orchid Society, and um, their expert, Sue Bottom, said that uh, they are not sure whether uh, it is a bacterial or a fungal infection, but uh, at least in their opinion, it doesn't look like a viral infection, like a virus. So um, she suspects that uh, it is a bacterial infection, but uh, usually bacterials are uh, very fast moving and uh, since my orchid uh, it is infected um, for uh, about three years now uh, that doesn't seem the case uh, in uh, regardless uh, they said uh, i can use hydrogen peroxide on uh, leaf surfaces copper would be very effective and uh, Fison 20 it is okay so, um, yeah, she said uh, it doesn't think it is fusarium also because uh, the New York pseudo bulbs are uh, bigger and fatter. So, uh, that is her um, answer, and I thank you um, and I thank her so so much for uh, helping me. I was afraid of uh, this being um, a virus because um, in that case I should uh, throw up the orchid but uh, in my opinion it is not a bacterial infection but it is a fungal infection because it doesn't move very fast throughout the plant okay so now let's uh, see what uh, damage the orchid actually has here on this on the older suit bulb uh, she has some very bad markings but these are from uh, hail damage so uh, i am not worried for that um again this is hail damage <coughs> oh this leaf uh, seems okayish let's say uh, this leaf has some little lines here you see the black necrotic lines they are actually united in a line but um, they were little spots that eventually uh, line up together uh, this uh, leaf uh, again has some hail damage which I will cut in a moment um, here uh, I have uh, one of the baddest uh, looking uh, leaves on this orchid so you can see on top uh, we have some necrotic spots that uh, seem a little bit purplish in color they are sunken and uh, the damage is all actually on the other side of the leaf and because it uh, is a, a straight line um, i thought it uh, would be a um, virus but um Sibatum said uh, she doesn't uh, think that uh, it is a virus so i'm happy for that the newest lead had fewer spots you can see she has a few there and some here on the leaf but not as bad as uh, the oldest one and uh, here we have some markings too and it seems like uh, the new growth might uh, actually get some as well so uh, we will see what will happen there um, now I have uh, prepared um, a solution uh, to treat this orchid but first I want to bring the scissors and uh, cut the leaves that uh, actually concern me so I will come back okay, so now okay so now I have brought the sterilized scissors and I will cut the leaf in a v-shape this tip especially because uh, it is infected here so i want i need my right hand sorry guys uh, i will put uh, the camera down and uh, i will show to you all the cutting and 
and here it is how it looks like guys uh, I have cut the tip of the leaf in a V shape because that looks a lot more natural and here I have cut also the leaf tip I have cut completely this leaf and here they are uh, you can see they looked uh, quite bad so uh, that was done uh, mostly for aesthetical reasons <laughs> to be quite honest and right now I will bring the solution that I made uh, here I have um, a solution made with Fison 20 and um, right now I will do a treatment and I will spray the whole orchid um, the leaf surfaces especially with uh, Fison 20 and um, uh, in uh, 125 milliliters of water I have used uh, 13 drops of uh, Fison 20 that would mean about um, 0 0.5 milliliters of um, Fison 20 so uh, now let's spray very very good the orchid this is a very good antifungal agent which should spread, which should uh, actually uh, prevent from spreading uh, this fungal disease in the future. Uh, I will do that uh, once a month for the orchid. You can see how black the pseudobulb is here and uh, the uh, infection doesn't spread uh, more down let's say throughout the years so uh, yeah also i will spray the new suitable as well and i will put her back on her place this is quite a strong solution so i don't recommend you try to use it on other orchids that are not uh, affected by uh, such a um, strong fungal disease let's say so we will see guys, I will do <coughs> a lot of updates and um, we will see each other later. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, fun in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!